Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Priming, and welcome back to a Thursday recording of Lumber Tycoon 2. I know you've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. Tonight, I am joined by Demon Boy, aka Bram. Hey, Hello. buddy, what's up? What's up, man? So, um, Demon actually showed me a couple of screenshots of his base and was like, is my base worthy of a base tour? And I was like, yeah, like everybody's is. I, I would I would do it for anyone, but the thing is, I'm very limited on time. But he was very persistent and I was like, you know what? He does have a really good build. I do want to go see it. Let's go! So. <laughs> That's Amazing to be here, man. Yeah, so. We, uh, I finally, love it. Finally got together. And one of the main reasons I wanted to do this particular one is because it's a really amazing big build. And here, walk, walk with me. Demon, demon this way. Walk with me. And yes. as always, I have to uh, explain myself because... Oh, actually... Hold on one second. <clears throat> Take your time. So, code is gone? Oh, I'm not gone. I'm still here. Ah, okay. My green screen's messed up. People can see my door. Oh, oh Lord, no. <sighs> fix what? it, fix Wait, it. hold on. on. What if I just... <clears throat> there we go. Never mind. It was easier to move the camera than the entire setup in the background. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Get your crap together, man. We're live. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, well, it's not live. <laughs> I could... I could edit it, but then everybody knows I don't edit. Dear Lord, if I were to go edit something. Fair like enough. Okay, so last time we were here. Cut, last time we were here, we we were testing the snowmobiles on ice, right? Yes. Because yes. I had gotten in trouble, I needed to make a slide for the snowmobiles. Here's the problem. After doing some testing, the snowmobile don't slide. <laughs> it, it don't go no faster. It's, it's, it's slower, right? Yeah, it's actually slower on ice. So... Building a sled from ice for the snowmobile, it's not a viable option. I would be building a huge slide that doesn't do anything. So this idea, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, and I'm sorry, you can hate me in the comments if you want to. I'm not going to build a slide for this thing because it's it's pointless. <laughs> so, okay, Fair sorry. Enough. Demon, this video is all about your yes, base. Sir. Let's do it. Hell yes. So... Walk us through the whole Man. thing. Like when you started, what was the first thing you built? Well, when I started, I actually didn't start out at this base. I've had a, I have another base that I worked on where, where I learned on where I learned on from your videos. Oh, yeah. And at some point, uh, some hacker base dropped me a couple of times, and there was too much lag to build anymore. Oh, so no. I said, "Hell, let's just start clean over." And get a new base where I only build, no presents, no all of the crap, just me building, me learning, mm -hmm. and this is where it ended, man. After three years, the, it's huge. <laughs> I'm like, this it's is this amazing. is a nice build. Cool. It's a lot of pain. It's a lot of patience and time and fun. A lot of pain <laughs> and it's a lot crazy, of crazy, man. Um, yes. So. Quick um, note to the viewers, if you're trying to build something to this scale and you're doing it on Xbox, dear Lord, I want to see pictures, okay? Like, take a picture of your screen or whatever and message it to at Code Primate on Twitter. I would love to see it and just do hashtag code art or something. I don't know. Anyhow. I can't even imagine building this on Xbox. <laughs> nah, man. Impossible. Impossible. Look at the Xbox controls, and everybody knows it's just harder. Like, you can do it, it's, and there are some amazing... It takes just more than three years. Can, can, are we going up here? Here? No, we're going into the house. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to start from the things I built first, and take you all through it till uh, the things I built last. Perfect. So I started out with this crappy house. It's kind of kind of crappy to be honest it's good like okay <laughs> <laughs> nah it's crappy man on compared on, to some other builds i had i have it's crappy as hell this Let's right here honest. with the setup and with the the objects and with everything that you've done right this would probably be level three on the build masters level right mm -hmm. yeah so. it was just me 
try now to make a kitchen and so and stuff with with the tools you're given you know because mm -hmm. this is all real kitchen stuff you can buy at fancy furnishings of course so i just wanted to try it out but i ended up hating it so yep. i just kind of left it well here here's one thing i've noticed when i'm using the uh the spook wood on the top right i always find that mm -hmm. birch wood makes a like a it's beautiful contrast when you're doing cabinets just saying okay <clears throat> excuse me yeah. are we are we cooking with you, TNT? you you didn't see this i found i found the hot dogs <laughs> you didn't see this. hey we're gonna have a oh barbecue. look barbecue put them in put them in oh, okay, okay okay oh there we go there we go oh, perfect medium well please now just wait until it blows <laughs> just turn it on we'll leave we'll leave that for them <laughs> yeah man as you can see i made a cross for tic tac of course i had to after you explained it in your video you know every base of mine has at least a cross for tic tac oh just something i like and as you can maybe see are some particles mm -hmm. underneath it that and was when my axes were flung fire axes right probably yes i like it a fire x under the ground i don't know how it got there but oh well well, here's, here's what I would love to see, and I haven't gotten it done yet, but like do a memorial to Tic Tac, right? And then do fire, uh, like a, the fire axes for the particle effects, and then do the ice axes for the, the snow effect as well. Oh my god. Yeah, You're giving thought. me some good ideas, man. Just thoughts. <laughs> Let's go upstairs now. All right, room number one. First floor. This room is special oh, to me. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't Everyone really likes it. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Ah, no. It's just the room that got flung out. Oh. Uh, I think four days ago, a hacker cleared this room out, so I had to get five five trucks ready, and I transferred them from my other base to a friend of me, and then over to this base to have my room of access back. This room this started out as uh, I had an old friend that had a script to dupe access and he gave me this room at the very beginning this is actually the first room i've ever built on this plot um, just to have access yes just so i can build without thinking oh sh oh crap i'm gonna i'm gonna lose my access i don't gonna have any left and all that stuff you know oh yeah i understand so this, it's, this room it's just is to filled build. With, this room is filled with a lot of memories and a lot of, a lot of turmoil <laughs> Because yes, first off, sir. you got a whole bunch of back, a whole bunch of axes really quickly, which is first off overwhelming for a lot of players. Second of mm -hmm. all, you had him flung, so you had to go and pick every single one of these up. Well, when I had them flung, they all just disappeared. I had none left in my base. A couple went to my maze, but everything was gone. So I had to get new axes and put them in there. That's why the ice axes are uh, underneath a lot and oh, I stuff, gotcha, you know? I gotcha. It almost feels, and this is going to show my age, this almost feels like DuckTales Scrooge McDuck in his uh, his vault of money where he's got a little diving board on yeah. it. Yeah. Just whoop, whoop, yes. start swimming yes, around in man. axes. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's exactly oh. how it feels. That makes me so but nervous anyways, just walking on those. It's okay. I give out X kits I made. It, uh, it consists of six different axes. See if I can grab them. I give out free access to new players. Do you, um, everybody hear that? I just want to see. I, I don't know that I would have <laughs> announced that I just want to see people build, you know. I just, I just tell them, take six axes right now and show me the builds later. That's, and I some of them actually idea. do, you know. Yeah, so, I've got another plot with around 10,000 presses on it and I gave away 70% of them for new players that just needed the little head start, you know? Yeah, and here's the thing. <clears throat> I know I ran an axe shop for a long time before and it was literally like whenever new axes would come out, I'd just go and buy a whole bunch, put them in my shop and then I'd sell them off for like 5,000, 7,000 a piece, boxed version, right? Didn't mm -hmm. have a problem with anything. I didn't realize that it was going to grow as massive as it did. I eventually like shut down my my shop because everybody that was giving me stuff, they were giving it to me as like, hey, this is a fan gift. This is a present that I'm giving to a YouTuber. And I felt really bad. Like, you know what? The X shop, I'm shutting down. I'm not selling any axes anymore. These are fan gifts. And uh, 
I understand. I understand. Yeah. But it, I just teach people to be nice in this game because everything you see is me just being nice to people and they giving me the the money and the abilities to learn. You know, mm -hmm. there's too many toxic kids in this game, and it just breaks the community a little bit. You know, it does every, every single time, and you'll see it on post and well. You don't see it so much anymore. You might see it in the Discord where people are taking pictures like, this person did this to my base, can you do something? Or like, we can't, we can't do anything. Like we could announce it here, but it's in game. It's not something yeah, I can man. Same with unbanned. Yep. So for everybody that's watching right now, just so you know, I have no control over the game. I am a player like everybody else. All right, I understand people are like, well, don't you know Josh? Yes, I do. I do know Josh, we do talk, but not a, this is no like separate you got you gotta a lot of people try and pivot hey can you tell josh this can you tell josh that i'm like no mm -hmm. don't go through me he's got his own twitter he's got his own communications you talk to him through that stuff so yeah but even that mostly doesn't work because when i lost my access to a hacker it doesn't work by um flagging them out or something because there will always be new hackers in the game you know yeah it's just an there's, ongoing thing there's so always going to be someone it's never will. over yes yeah. there's you, always going to be evil hackers in the game if you got hit by a hacker on wednesday there's no nothing saying that they can't hit you on thursday friday saturday too exactly and they mostly leave after they uh, hit you mm -hmm. they leave so, instantly you cannot can't even uh, ban them or nothing. I can't take it with you. Can't like even the the stuff that they throw off your base. What? Uh, sorry, I am totally distracted in ADHD. What are we doing next? What's this room? Me too. <laughs> I got ADHD, man. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Let's head over to the barn. We're gonna take this sneaky, sneaky exit. Oh yeah. Sneaky <sighs> peeky. This is the wood barn. This build I like a lot more than the house. And it's just, I needed a place to get some spare wood and it maybe got out of hand a little bit. And now I got a lot of spare wood just to be able to build again, you know? Oh no, I love this setup. It looks amazing. Hold on, top doing the same thing? Are you, are you gonna put uh, more up here? The top is still clean. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna build. I was kinda asking you if you have any ideas to build at For... the top, man. I okay. left it empty. I know exactly what you should do up here. So um, you see how you've got all your stalls and everything's lined up and you've got like this perfect setup, like the the bone structure to get yourself an auto sorter or to create an auto sorter in here. Yes. Do conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, turn, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, up, and then up top, do another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then have the whole thing. I understand that. But my only problem is I kind of want to keep it old school, you know. I like that it's kind of empty, kind of clean, like some real barns I have been to uh, at my friends' houses and so. Oh, no. that I like so, that, too. Like, keeping, keeping all your stalls in the same context of, like, a rustic barn is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <gasps> no. Okay. Woo. Stop getting stuck, man. <laughs> Sa safety really? helmet area. area. <laughs> safety zone. You're gonna need one. But yeah, but as we would, get to the top, I would definitely say Perfect. Some, do some more. Uh, do at least six more, like three on that side, three on this side, mm -hmm. and just make this your uh, your wood barn. It looks beautiful, dude. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. I like the pellet I made. I do too. I was looking like, that's a wood pallet. Dude, we could do like the, one of those This is one of the best builds I have on my plot because it's a one-to-one -one scale to real life. So I, I absolutely love it. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna lower you down. Ready? Crank, 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 crank. Oh, crank, I crank, wish crank, we crank, could, crank. man. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, but sadly, no physics. Yeah. <sighs> that was a little depressing. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like, fair enough. Yeah, there is no physics. These are conics boxes. I can tell what you were trying to go for with these. That is awesome. Containers. Yeah. We call them. 
you call them containers, yes. uh, conix boxes, container boxes, shipment boxes, yeah. cargo. Well, I actually made this just to get all the trash out of my blood before you came over. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see this. Th that's this just it. Here. You're like, this is embarrassing, <laughs> don't, and I'm sitting here like, what are these? Yes, this is great. <laughs> yep. I, I love the idea of a conix Look box. at all this trash, man. If, God damn, I cleaned up my pot for the whole yesterday for this. <laughs> I think it's amazing. It looks awesome. Uh, something else that you could probably do, if you can get a vol hauler, right? One of the big trucks and have it mm -hmm. like facing catty corner or something like that. And then you build one of these off the back of it and make it look like it's been set on a trailer. Just saying. Oh, you got some good ideas, man. <laughs> oh, I'm going to look into oh. that. I'm gonna look into this. I forgot who does it. There's there's somebody I went and toured their base. They did like a tank and a, something else, but they were able to anchor everything, all their ball hauler builds, with um, wires. They actually strapped down everything. <clears throat> okay. That's cool, man. Well, this is the maze. Okay. This build probably took the longest. There's over, I think, two months of work in this maze. It's eight layers high eight different mazes and most people get stuck around two to three hours inside of it two to three hours yes sir i've got 14 minutes what do you think, <laughs> think we I can, can get it? to the top at the end of the uh of the parkour too you can jump off from the top to 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 the top of the maze and now we can get through the roof side oh. if you want to see it Hold on. So this is a parkour? Nope, that's the nuclear power plant. All right, nuclear power plant. That makes more sense. What you said par parkour. Does the maze have parkour? No, the maze is just uh, eight different mazes on top of each other with ladders. And if we get over here, this is my most recent build. <gasps> here it is. Okay, so this is the parkour. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should, do you want to time me? I don't think you're gonna make it. <laughs> All right, ready? On your mark, get set. I'll, get I'll, I'll, give, set. I'll give it three tries. Three tries to, to get to the top. Here we go. Get set, go. You got this. Oh, oh lag. Nope. That was not my fault. Do over. Yeah, the base lags a lot. Oh, got me on the, the wall, the walk around there. We call it strafe jumps, if I'm right. <laughs> You're actually pretty decent at parkour, man. Oh, gosh. <gasps> okay, that's two. That's, that's two. That's two. I'll try not to jump on the same... Oh, I lagged. Okay. Oh, I lagged too. Oh, I bounced off the edge. Ugh. Okay. One more, one more. One Always. More. Oh, I missed the second strafe jump. Okay. Platform, platform. Oh gosh. It's addicting, isn't it? Yes, it is. And this this is the thing. The, um, what is it? The 100 obby course or 1000 obby course. It's a game. Mm -hmm. I love playing that. I even reset it just to I understood. go all the way back it's through It's just again. time killing. Yeah. At one at one side it's just time killing, and at the other side it's just something to keep the brain going, you know. Yeah. Have you ever played Minesweeper? Yes. Same yes. idea. Like. That's uh... all too, man. <gasps> I did it! I did it! I got to the second strafe. <sighs> got it. I got, you got this. this. I got this. Oh no! <laughs> no no no! Oh uh, okay. I'll have to try it again, but we, we don't have time on the recording. Um... I can show you one of the best jumps too uh, when we're at the top, but let's go to the nuclear power plant first. Okay. Then we can take the crane to the top. Whee. Let's take a look. Keep all doors closed. Mm. The red doors, they go to the core and the blue doors go to the control panel because it actually turns on. 
<gasps> no, not the paragraph. This is the book. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this so this is the moments. This is actually what uh what powers Tom's uh, register down there. Whenever you buy stuff, this is this is the power cord. Yes, right sir. Here. Got yes, it. Sir. How much the is the wires wire? that you see inside of it? It they took me like twenty tries to get them all perfectly synchronized and everything. It was awful. So, do these light up at all? Are they functional? Yes, sir. Oh, <gasps> no. Let's do go. it. Do it. Of course. We can take this right. Uh, 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 and close. Through the blue door. And this is to the control room. Close all doors yes. behind. Oh, wait till you see the glow, man. I love it. So here we have the control panel. The middle one is to get the white light. And then you gotta press these two at the same time. Then we can get to the viewing area. They have to be on at the same time or else it doesn't work. Okay. And it has a beautiful light blue glow. That is awesome. I'm just, I'm gonna make some noise. I love the way the glow looks, you know? See, that's the hum. That's the hum that you would hear when mm -hmm. you're inside the corp. It's like a very low. 60 Where's hertz. the radiation poisoning? <laughs> These are, th this is Faraday. It's Faraday glass. So we're good, we're good. Fair enough. <laughs> No, this this took me the most time. Yeah, the core took, of course, longest, and uh, to get the wiring in there, it's it's kind of awful, but I like it. No, I so I do fine. too. I do like that you've. I, I don't know how you hid the wires on the bottom. Did you glitch build? Oh, Did I can you go show through, you through something. No, I can show you. Uh, wait, let's see. The, back. We can go through the glass here, just by move and then press B. You already know, already know that. Oh, if I, you I don't know that. Trick. Underneath that this. Right. No? Do you, ahead, don't you know? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was already thinking, man. Come on. All right. But you can see the wires underneath of this bridge. Yep, yep. And then it goes behind this... Uh, yeah, behind the post, the white post, and, the, and behind the wall, you can see the, the two wires. It's oh. just an end converter, I think. Hold on, so it does... Ah, there it is. Okay. There's two layers right here. The, there's the white layer, and then there's the wall layer behind it. So if I move this way, uh, now yeah. I can see. I was trying to go through here, yeah. and I'm like, there's two walls. So Anyway, yeah. that's how it's hooked up. That's your AND switch. It's nothing too complicated. It no, just not at all. looks good, you know. Nice, simple, some simple logic. If this and that, then this. So you're good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Me too, man. It's amazing. Okay. Let's go through this door. When I first saw and your... This exit. Whenever I first saw your name, Demon Boy, right? It reminded me of the, mm -hmm. a song that my daughter plays called Lemon Boy. I know the song Lemon Tree, but I don't know Lemon Boy. What is Just that? The yellow lemon tree. I remember that song. Who, who wrote it? Lemon tree. No, it's not that one. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's more of a whiny teen song. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> like. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I don't even remember how the lyrics go. Oh, gosh, I'm lost. You know what? Oh lord! Forget it. I'll I'll find it later. It's cool. All right. Fair enough. Fair I'm ready enough. to see this crane. This is the crane. Yo. This is the crane that holds the space rock. All right. And uh, this one was one of the most painful builds because every post you see is two of the uh, short, smooth walls, the thin ones, and it just took a lot of going at it and just a lot of steps to get all the wood up here oh. because you can only zoom out that far you know you cannot zoom out all the way if you're on the ground oh, yeah. see the I top know. so you gotta do it in stages did but you, at the end it looks kind of good 
When, when you were building this, did you have a, uh, a platform that you would aim for to put all your parts on and then take the parts from yes. the platform? It's between the parkour and uh, and the crane and stuff. I used to place the, the big floors on the side here and just do uh, two steps. And then I, I, um, I'd fill up the, the blueprints at the bottom and then I'd just place Green them up here. To the top, Further, further. Yeah. I know how that goes, especially when you're building towers and platforms and oh god. I th yep, it took a long time with the with the parkour too. I think the golden bridge or the gold yeah, the gold bridge was one of my favorite builds. Trying to get everything just right. Yeah, that was the, the door bridge, right? Uh-huh. I remember that man. That was cool. This is the way to the top, top of the, the parkour, parkour right? and uh, yes, sir, and to the watch post I made. Dude, hold here on we a have a blue door. I am I am loving the details on the the wiring and stuff. Yeah, I had to, man. It's beautiful. If we go inside through the roof, I love that we don't use doors. <laughs> <laughs> nah, never. But this blue door is made so if you finish the parkour, you can get onto the ladder and it closes automatically. So you cannot get in from the outside. But players without permissions can still use the door to get onto the ladder to the watch, uh, watch post. So that's just a little thing you made. And it, it looks kind of bulky, but I like it and it works. This is an automatic door closer. I just realized what yes, you're doing here. Okay, so but if you stay on it, it it just flips back and forth. Yeah, this so is that's a kind of funny. Delay timer is that what this is? Signal delay. Yes. Yep. Yes. So when you hit this, bam! This thing starts timing time, 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 time. Hits that, closes the door. Then it closes again. So, so beautiful. people from the outside cannot cheat into this room. They can't cheat in here. They can just go up the parkour is the only way. I could cheat. See see how it's open? See how it's open? Oh, I got there. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky boy. Now, if we take this hole right over here, this is what I wanted to show you inside the parkour. If you just fall straight down. <laughs> I have a seat. Oh, <laughs> that's the seat jumps I made. Am I in the wrong one? Yeah. I'm like this. You can make I, it. I know how to do this. This is this is easy parkour. And now just down. You fall down. Oh oh! I'm not completing it. Okay. We got it. Like here, if you stand on this one, the um, thing is inside the wall pop up, and if you walk off it, they automatically close off. So you have to time the jumps and be fast enough before you fall off. Oh my god, do it again? This is amazing. That I'm so proud of this one. This is sick. This is absolutely perfect. If you watch from under, if you uh, angle your camera so you can look under the part where we're standing, you can see the wiring. It's it's barely visible, but yeah, I see it. On is um oh, it's like a big mess. But it works. Kind of want to mess you up a little bit so I can get some light down there, but that's that's fine. I know I know how it's hooked up. You're good. Okay, can I try it? Try it should out. I try it. Of course. One, two, three. You gotta four, be fast. Five. five. Oh, I missed no. it! I missed no. it! No. Oh, okay, okay. You did fine. an amazing first try, though. <laughs> Roblox battles, here I come. <laughs> Look out, Creek. I'm One of the last buddy. things I made was the was the watch post up here. If we just follow the ladder all the way up. Okay. You could look into fancy furnishings from my plot. No. No matter where I spawn it. You can look into the store. It's amazing. I love it. You got a good watchtower yourself, too. 
I just realized you've got li lasers on the top as well. Lasers are like the coolest. Yeah, I made a couple laser roofs and I love it. But this is the watchtower. I made this out of glass so you can look from everything from up, from up above. And you can, oh, if the mist is gone, you can see the, the fog. You can see the uh, inside defense furnishing store. But it's night, so it's always foggy. Yeah, it's really out there. I wonder. Anyways, if you stay up here and look over this side, I want to show you something I made. Just stay over here. Don't okay. move. Okay, not moving. I hope it works with the leg. Please. I know what you're going to do. Okay, cool. Of course. No, the leg made it crappy. Oh, no, it's perfect. It's going off in sequence. I'm coming down. The leg stops the fireworks. Luke, the leg stops the fireworks from going off. I think, and here's the thing. You don't have any, like, big, big builds that would be causing too much lag. I think it's from all your loose objects. Like all your axes that are in there? From the X room, yes, the yeah. X room, probably. Because the, the physics objects are much harder on, like this this right here. This is probably about five times harder on the game engine than this sitting here by itself with particle effects. Because this mm -hmm. is anchored, this is not. This is not, exactly. Yeah. These always glitch through the ground, through the walls, everywhere. Yeah, uh, well, they won't stay at for the longest time, place, I always recommended okay. if you had uh, glitch boards or glitch wood like that, always take it and stand it up on end because it can't fall into the ground if it's standing on its end, technically. It could if it were moving at high velocities and skipped a frame and then it'd go through. Never mind, that's nerd stuff. <clears throat> yeah, but it doesn't work inside the barn. I don't have the room for that because the ladders, uh, the stairs is up above, you know. I already tried placing down these tiles, you, but they ain't working. Is Does it still go through the ground ground? I think so. We can mm, see. No, you should be good if you've got... Uh, maybe if you were to put the floor layer down on the ground ground, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We it's can good. take a quick peek. See. Place this upside down. Eh. Yep, yep, see for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just just look at it. Oh, there it is. Okay, um, here. But it's fine. I normally just move the ground and use the blueprint track to get them up. So it's no biggie. Oh gosh. <laughs> I got you, I got you. <laughs> You'll be lying dead on my plot. Let me see. I'm I am super interested in trying to get this like saved now. The wood. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. Don't worry. You ain't got to worry. There it is. Yeah. I found it. And actually, hold on, can Bridges. I just move this? Yeah. There we go. You got it. Yeah, I, I do this a lot of times a day, man. Wait, wait, wait. So instead of leaving it here, let me sh let me show you. So you've got one of these, right? Mm-hmm. Put the tile down first, then this over the top of it. That way it's got two objects it's got to pass through to try and get into the ground. The, the okay. one, the one, one uh, sorry. The, the, I can't talk. <clears throat> this floor right here is one by five mm -hmm. by five, right? Or one by 10 by 10. Yeah. So if you put that down, one of these could possibly split through it because if you go one, one unit up from this, it's only like three by three, right? So if you put a mm -hmm. point 0.5, which is the tile below that, it would have to go through five, 10, it would have to go through 10 layers before it even get to the center of this. I don't know if, I'm not oh, making okay. sense, am I? 
I'll tr I'll try it out. I, I can clear out this whole barn and do it all over. Don't worry. Oh, don't rebuild the whole thing. I'm just saying, like, if you place down this versus placing mm -hmm. down this, right? Yeah. This one, it has a likely chance that it could push through. The whole reason that it falls through the, the ground is because the ground itself is like a 0.1 thickness object, right? Yeah. And anytime you have two instances of an object that are in the same vicinity, the one that is higher is going to try and push up on the X axis. But if it happens mm -hmm. to be loading in, the wood appears first, the land underneath it, and it pushes, that's how it yep. goes up under the ground. So if you uh, okay. if you put a second one like this, right, this gives it a little bit more cushion that is going to appear below the object that is trying to appear. Like the, the Okay. Yeah. It's I'ma try it out. I figured that out because whenever I was creating the, the book on how to program, like the advanced Roblox coding book, right? There's a section mm -hmm. where I make a button. It's a GUI button. You click the button and object appears. If you do that, yeah. like click, 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 every consecutive object after that that tries to appear in the same vicinity of an object that's already there gets pushed up, 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 up. Oh, yes. Oh, I can show you an example of this. And we're at 36 minutes, so... <laughs> Um, okay, Re remind me and we'll, we'll do that next time. I wanted to get this base in, this maze in. You want, oh. you want to try it out? Hold on. Is it lit in there? Do we have lights? Nope. Nope. <laughs> if I'm right, we'll have a filter. <laughs> Thank you everyone you for watching this episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I tell you what, I will outro and we'll, uh, we'll play the credits, but I'll, I'll leave a little screen. Here we go. I'll do this. Hold on. I don't think I've ever done this before. Where's, where's my credits? Where's my outro? There's the outro. And can we get a logic cam in there? There we go. And... Where's the Roblox game? Do we have the Roblox game? Game capture? You're holding air on my screen. Oh. Uh, oh. Hicks. There we go. <laughs> and now. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Alright, let's do this. I don't want to stretch it out. Come on. Shift. Alt. Control. No, that's not. This is not working! Demon, help! I can't get it to work. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord, no. Here, here we go. That's what I'll do. Um, down in the bottom left-hand corner, I'll leave it as the credits roll, and we'll start uh, mm -hmm. start doing the parkour. That way, that way I can still play and, and see it a little bit. But as it's rolling, we'll start doing and playing and, and everything else. Basically, you're going to be watching okay. the credits, the outro at the same time, and I'm just going to let it run for about three minutes so you can see us go and try to do the parkour course. But I'm going to turn the volume okay. off and everything else. So here we go. <clears throat> thank, okay. thank you so much for showing me this, by the way. And no like, take problem at all. It's a dream to come true, man. <laughs> As, here we go. Just so I can get an ego boost. What's your favorite part about the channel? I think the way you can calm down people. The way you just have a good old chat, you know, because when I uh, started watching you, you talked a lot about bullying stuff and I've got bullied my whole life. I wasn't good enough. But you just make me feel like it's okay, you know, the impact you have on your followers, it's just more than amazing. It's mm -hmm. absolutely perfect. And it, you're just an amazing person. I'm I'm looking through this base and what you've done and the energy that you put into it. Don't listen to anything that those guys have ever said or anybody's ever said. Because you have an amazing base, you have an amazing voice, you're awesome to hang out with, and the same goes for each and every one of you watching this right now. If you're getting bullied in school, if you've you're if yeah, you're going through problems, talk to someone. All right, but here's the thing: yes. you don't Talk have to someone, it. please. You don't have to put up with it. If somebody's talking smack to you, walk away. Go tell someone. 
Yep. If somebody's physically yep. hitting you, and I'm talking, you don't have to ball up fists and punch somebody in the face to assault them. If you, if you push someone, get shot, pushed, anything. Somebody grabs your bag. If at any point somebody places their hands on your body or your person or your property, you are more than right to defend yourself, and you are more than right to go and tell someone you should not have to put up with it, ever. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hang them with my ex. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Hang them. no. I would never. T- somebody touches you, just take your ex out and murder them. <laughs> oh my god, dear lord, no. It is not my when message. It's an enzyme X, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lover Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, joined by the amazing Demon Boy, a.k.a. Bram. Yes, sir. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Do you want to do it? Outro. Outro.